Hi, my name is Yukihiro Shoda. I'm a filmmaker who moved to LA from Tokyo three years ago. Since then, I got a lot of inspiration from American films. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to use only Adobe Stock to make a short film. A few months ago, I got a phone call from my producer saying, Hey Sho, do you want to participate for a short film festival? Create a short film within five days only using Adobe Stock. And I was like, oh, sounds cool, let's do it. But I never thought about making a film only using stock images before, and I asked myself, how am I gonna find the right footage from such a vast selection? So today, I would like to share the process of my filmmaking with you. First, I started writing the script. Drawn shot, drawn shot, drawn shot. Universe, nebula, nebula, nebula stock, nebula stock. Empty, empty street, empty street, empty street. At this point, I hadn't started searching the footage yet and kept writing. I was just expanding my vision first. When I wrote the climax scene where the God talks to us, the angels, I was thinking of the images of the history of the Earth, how humans have evolved, and how we won against foes like pests. And for the very ending part, I really wanted to have a shot with the Christmas bell. Once I finished the script writing, I made a shot list even though I didn't need to shoot anything. And I planned well before searching the footage. What kind of character do I need? What kind of shot do I want? What tone am I looking for? And why do I need those shots? And I used this list as a compass to guide my whole production process. And finally, I started searching the footage. That wasn't easy even if I knew what I wanted. For example, when I was looking for a Christmas bell shot, I checked over 4,000 images and finally found one. I never gave up on searching it because I knew what I wanted and why. I also care about the overall look. When I found my favorite shot, I checked the other shots from the same cinematographer. Also searching with the reference image helped me a lot. It was a challenge to make a short film using only stock materials. First, I wondered if there are shots I wanted. Now I can say there are many, so the most important thing is planning. On set, sometimes we can capture an amazing shot in a coincidence, but I believe that also comes from the good preparation. So whether shooting or not, when you make a film, try to visualize final image first. And that allows you to find better imageries and ideas. I hope my tip can help your creation. Thanks for listening.